I know they say never say never. I know that's how the saying goes, but I'm never punching someone's clock again, man. I'm never working for someone else. I'm putting it out there in the atmosphere. And I know they I know they say you're not supposed to say that. But I've worked for so many different so many different jobs in my life growing up before I got to the point where I was full time self employed, full time working for myself. I wasn't taught how to be an entrepreneur. I wasn't taught the ins and outs, what's right, what's wrong, the loopholes, all I wasn't taught none of that. I just got to a point where I couldn't take punching somebody's clock anymore and I dipped and I said it's gonna be sink or swim from here on. I'm just I'm just over it. I can't do it no more. So I'm here to tell you a little bit about my journey, how I got to this point, and then also share with you, you know, some of the realistic viewpoints that you need to know when it comes to working for yourself. If you going through the same thing right now where you feel like you can't punch nobody's clock, please understand that right now, at least for me in my in my lifetime, this is probably the craziest I've ever seen the economy this in America. It's probably the craziest I've seen it. Like it's so expensive to live right now. And if you punch in the clock, if you you know, got a nine to five that you feel like isn't paying you enough to, you know, live comfortably. But you also can't quit your job because if you quit your job, where are you going to get some money from? Where the money going to come in at? How are you going to sustain your lifestyle? It's like you stuck in this this cycle. You stuck in this loop that you can't get out of. You want to work for yourself. You want to try new things out, but you can't afford to leave your job because then you could be homeless. Then you ain't going to have no money to pay your rent or buy your food or, you know, so you're just stuck in this cycle and you're trying to figure out how to get out of it. If that's where you at right now, stick around, watch the rest of this video, and hopefully I can help you out, give you some insight, give you some game on how I got to this point, and then, you know, hopefully I can help you out to uh, give you some guidance, you know, but I've worked, uh, I've worked for a little bit of every, every, every type of job you can imagine coming up, like from high school starting off in fast food spots, you know, the the typical get your first job type job, you know, going to a fast food. I worked at McDonald's, bro, in like 10th grade, I want to say. I was super young. Uh retail, you know, working in clothing stores, hated that. Uh city jobs, worked for my city. That was cool. That was that was a cool job. Still didn't like punching the clock, still played around, didn't take that serious. That was cool. Um little little temp jobs little warehouse jobs uh, side hustle jobs uh uber job driving uh like well that's kind of that's kind of independent but still anything you could think of i don't i done did it you know and then plant job worked there that was the last job i worked for and i was in there for like five years before i before i you know decided to leave so i to quit and so having this having this experience under my belt of working for people I understand how to go and get a job and punch a clock and, you know, do what I got to do in order to feed my family, in order to feed myself, in order to make sure my bills is paid because I never liked being broke. I never liked being broke. So I understood that having a job is an option and having a job is nothing to frown upon or nothing to feel bad about yourself. You know, you're going out here, you're making a, 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 a legal living not risking your freedom to get some money and your all your bills is paid and you got food on the table that's nothing to frown on you know but for some people like myself you feel incomplete when every day you're going to punch somebody's clock and you know like they say you you helping somebody live out their dream and you're not living out your own so one of the things i did was i just up and quit i didn't I didn't have a plan. I didn't know how I was going to make a dollar when I was quitting that job. And this is something that I wouldn't recommend you to do. I would recommend that you make a plan first. If you feel in this type of way, make a plan, put that plan in motion, have some money stacked up, put aside before you jump out there with the sharks. Right. And if you are going to make that, if you are just going to up and make that move with no with no plan, 
you better have some hustle about yourself because those bills don't stop coming and you still got to eat every day, you know? So if you ain't got no hustle about yourself, you better have a plan. You better have some money stacked up because right now, the current time that we live in here is so expensive, bro. Gas is at an all time high. Groceries at an all time high. Rent is at an all time high. Housing is at an all time high. Everything is just super expensive to live right now. So if you're not a real hustler, if you're not, if you don't got a real drive about yourself, it's going to get even more difficult, right? I jumped out there, no plan, but I figured it out, right? Uh, I even give y'all some, I even give y'all a few, few tips on what I did when I first got out here. Uh, and then also I got a Patreon channel now. It's in the description below. I give more in-depth, detailed, you know, uh, game on this type of content you know what i'm saying more exclusive behind the scene content and then more exclusive one-on-one -on -one access you know actually help people directly but but i give some 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 tips on what i did you know and what you can do now in 2024 things that still work you know uh one of the things that i came up with man i came up with a a dope event idea right I had no experience throwing events, throwing parties. I had no experience in it, in it at all. I had been to parties and I had been booked to perform at parties, but I had never thrown my own, you know, so I had no experience in that. But I came up with a dope idea for one. And I was like, I want to see if this will work. Right. So using the resources that I had made a few phone calls, knew somebody who had a venue, knew somebody who had a spot. It was like an art gallery wasn't super wasn't super big but it was enough to hold a couple hundred people so you know use my resources yo we could work something out let me get the venue you know what i'm saying pay you on the back end or you can get this or that drinks whatever however it's gonna go we're gonna figure it out right so i didn't have to come out no money up front to use this venue right so boom got a spot now i gotta get some people in the spot and i gotta sell some tickets right came up with this dope idea uh that i still do to this day but my first event it went well, bro. And one of the reasons that it went so well was because I knew I couldn't fail. Like I, I couldn't, I couldn't fail. I didn't have the luxury to fail because I had already quit my job. So now with my back against the wall and just the type of person that I am, I'm going to just go super hard on it. Right. I got flyers printed up. I got, I got chicks helping me promote it. You know what I'm saying? I'm spreading the word like crazy people telling people, boom, first event was a success. It's like, okay, now we could do something. But that was one of the things I did, having little money and no money coming in at the time, using my resources, like I said, to, to get a venue, to be able to put some people in a venue and some, sell some tickets and then make a couple dollars and then take that money and flip it and do it again and, and, and move forward and grow the brand from there. That was one of the things that I did. And I had no experience in it. But like I said, when you when your back is against the wall, you're going to make it do what it do. I'm not saying that you have to go out and, and throw an event or throw, an, throw a party or something. But I'm, what I am saying is think about what resources that you have. Who do you know? What people do you know that you can tap in with, you know, and they can help you. Uh, they can help you build something. What, what resources do you have? You got to really think if your network is small, you need to start getting out and networking with more people, shaking hands, bumping elbows you know, with, with people getting out, going to networking events. I was going to networking events, just chopping it up with people, meeting people, telling them things that I do, right? You never know who might need your services or, or might need your skill set, whatever it may be, because the money is out here. You just got to go get it. And you will be surprised what value you can bring to people, you know, just based off whatever skill set it is that you have. So that was one of the things that I did. And it was a success for me. Another thing that I had had did and I had to think about like man what what's some other skill sets that I had I had always known how to cut hair right always I stopped doing it because I was working in the plant and I was working jobs and it's like hey, this ain't no money in it ain't no money in this so I ain't doing that right but that was a skill set that I had so I had to think I started reaching out everybody I knew right you know I'm back cutting hair pull up on me five dollars ten dollars whatever you got right I'm just trying to build some clientele right growing the clientele, growing an audience, whenever you got an audience or whenever you have a, 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 a large following or can gain a decent following of people, right? These are people that you got access directly to a, a, a phone 
a long contact list, right? You got a thousand people in your contact list. You got a thousand people on your Instagram. You got a thousand people on your Twitter or your or your Facebook. You know, you got all these people just lying around that you got direct access to and you're not using them at all or you're not tapping in with these people at all. Right. So I went through my whole contact list and I told people, Yo, I'm doing five dollar haircuts, ten dollar haircuts, whatever the case may be. Just pull up on me. Let me let me give you a cut. Right. So now there's some money coming in. Right. Using my resources. But ultimately, I'm trying to grow a brand. I'm trying to lock in some clientele of consistent money that will be coming in. So initially, it's like, yeah, I'm not about to be getting paid a bunch of money right now, but I got to steal some clients from their barbers. I know how to cut. I know how to do it. So. I got to steal you from wherever you've been going to all these years. I got to steal you. Let me give you a free cut or let me give you a cup of five bucks. Right. Thinking about your resources, thinking about your contact list. How can you utilize these people that you already have access to? And how can you be of value to them? How can you provide some value to these people? These are things you can do immediately to start making money immediately. Another thing, I'm going to give you one more piece of game. Just just this is just brainstorming on stuff. If you. Never want to punch a clock again. You have to get into the groove and get into the rhythm of serving people and also eating what you kill. Because if you're not putting the work in, if you're not doing the work, the money ain't coming in. You got to go get it now at this point. And this is something that I developed and something that I learned. And I'm so in a groove. I can never go back. I can never punch a person's clock again. It won't even feel right. I've been doing this for too long and I see what it's like on the other side. It won't even feel right to go do that. Now, if I absolutely have to, I'm going to do what I got to do, but I just don't see that happening. Right. That's why I can say I'm never punching somebody's clock again. But even if you got access to a pickup truck or if you got your own pickup truck, you know, access to it. Right. People, people moving items from one place to another or people that need help moving out of their home or into their new home. Right. People be moving every single day. Right. People need people need uh, certain bulk items thrown out. Taken to the taken to the dump. People need help doing demolition on, on, on homes, right? Getting locking in with realtors and contractors, right? You need help doing demolition on, on cribs, you know, going in there, gutting the house down, knocking all the walls down, stripping it down to the and then they people will pay you decent money for that, right? And you got access to these people right in your phone book, right on Facebook. There's realtors out here everywhere, there's contractors out here everywhere, and they're looking for work and they're looking for people that's ready and willing to work. You just gotta Think about what resources you have right now, because if you quit your job, that money stops right now. No more money coming in. So now what can you do immediately to go get some money to start surviving? Starting you a YouTube channel. I know it's not a ton of money up front at first, but just getting in the groove of posting content. You just never know, bro. We see it every day. People people blow up and they go crazy every day. So if you sitting there scrolling on your phone and you're not pushing out no content yourself, you're just consuming all the content, you kind of tripping. Like you can't say you don't want to work for nobody or you don't want to punch nobody clock, but then at the same time, you're not putting in no work yourself. You tripping. Like I done got to the point where I'm so I'm so embedded. I'm so deep into the entrepreneurial journey into the working for myself journey to where I can hire other people. I can use the money that I make to make more money, invest all of these things. And I'm making more money now that I'm not working for anybody than I've ever made in my life. Back when I was punching the clock, when I, the last job that I left working in Chrysler, working in a plant at that moment, like that was the highest paying job I had ever had, you know, in my at the time, I think I started when I was like 20, I was like 24 or something like that. I, I, so I was still fairly young and that was decent money. You know, I was making 20 something dollars an hour and then it was overtime and overtime was time and a half. And they used to let, let us work as much overtime as we wanted to. Right. So I was really in there running it up. I was, I was doing all the OT I wanted and I was really in there running it up and I'm bringing in 12, 1300 a week. Like that was good money for me and, and for anybody at that age at that time. Like I thought I was balling. Like I thought I was loaded. But after doing it for a few years, it just felt like I was stagnant. It's like, yeah, the money is good, but it don't feel like I'm growing. And it, I got to come to this place every day. Like I couldn't see me doing that for the rest of my life. So at that point, it made the money not worth it to me no more 
because now I'm kind of miserable. I'm away from my daughter now. You know what I'm saying? I had a do- I got a daughter, so I'm away from her now. I can't enjoy certain things. You know what I'm saying? I got to miss certain things because I got to go to work. I didn't enjoy that. I like having the option or the freedom or the luxury to where if I need to go do something, like my daughter got a soccer game, I don't have to I don't have to go tell nobody that I can't make it. I don't have to uh, use some 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 PTO time. I don't have to do none of that. My daughter got a soccer game. I block it off on my schedule and I go to the game and I'll never have to worry about if I'm about to lose my job for going to my daughter's game or going to my daughter's uh, 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 dance recital. I never have to worry about that. If I want to take a vacation, I just take a vacation. I don't have to worry about, yo, I need to I need to take off five days and can can y'all approve me? I don't got to worry about none of that. And that right there is priceless. But you don't get to that point of being able to do what you want without putting some work in, man. So please understand that. This was just me hopefully giving you some inspiration and some motivation, but also a little clarity that it isn't as easy as it may sound, but the money is out there, man. The money is out there. You just got to go get it. You got to get creative nowadays, but we're living in a time where it's expensive as ever, but you also have the option to get as rich as ever. We've never seen this in, in the history of our country where we got so many young millionaires doing it from their home, making videos on their phone, making content on their phone, making courses, selling courses. Like it's so many different options that you don't necessarily have to punch a clock if you don't want to. You, you at least have the option here in America to get rich like you do got that option. No matter what color you are, no matter what, what, what gender you are, or rate, you, you have that option. It's not guaranteed that it's going to happen, but the option is there, man. Please keep that in mind. If, um, if this video helps you at all, bro, you know, give me a, give me a like, man, and then a subscribe. Hit the subscribe button. That's, that's all I really be asking for. Nothing too crazy. Share it with somebody that might need it. You know, that type of stuff helped the channel. It helped the channel. It do. Uh, I got more videos on the way, man. Hopefully this video helped you out. And I'm going to get back with y'all soon, man. Peace.